and we're back with more a dang and rompa in the last part uh asahina and uh fukawa we got in a fight or genocide show i should say and then taka got mad just a lot of yelling with her and hagakure and then we brought uh we made up with kyoko i'd say and then we brought uh alter ego back or uh, we put alter ego into the secret room and put him into an ethernet port in hopes that um, they can find something else. And then in this part, the door is ringing. Oh, I guess in the last part too, the door rang. So who is it? Makoto. Get out here. Yoko, what's going on? Indeed. Hina came to see me and she was white as ghost. Sounds like something happened. What? At those words. My heart started to beat a little faster. Suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Oh shit. Oh no. Kyoto, Kyoko. Asina, what's wrong? So something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? Window in the rec room and I hurried to look inside. And when I did. Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name. She wouldn't respond. Huh? So, what, sh what should we do? What are we going to do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. The door is locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. To me. We're going to force a way in. I just said... Wrong. Door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room didn't have a lock. Then why? It, it feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? The chair. In other words, Either way, the door isn't locked. Which means as far as I can tell, the rules don't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. We should be the fast. That should be the fast way. Okay, I'll go, some I'll go get something to break it with. Oh, wait here. Oh no, inside the rec room, Sakura still, had mo still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Kyoko didn't reply. There's only silence. But, that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom, a classroom. Use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please, hurry! Okay, you two stand back. Told the, told the room, broom so as hard as I could. Directly at the window, all it took was one solid hit. The window shattered 900 pieces, shattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the door, now open window, and started jostling the chair, leaning against the door. The chair is pretty heavy, but I can just, I can just push it all on it with all my strength. Finally, the knob turned. Sakura ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her, I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body, and then a body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. The class trial will begin! <sighs> no. huh? Not Sakura. Sakura's. Sakura's dead? She's really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. To only look on at Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. It happened again. When you just off, Kyoko Bandy gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered what she, I wondered 
Was she confirming that Tucker really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Asahina left the rec room and I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated over and over again. I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after, I don't know how long. I got everyone. What? Uh, ogre? Mm, yes, oh, so yes. she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You're the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. Hm. Interesting. Sakura was mur murdered, and someone in this very room. Uh, is that what you're gonna say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her, it's not just someone in this room. It's your fault. It's one of you, Hiro, Ryaki, and Toko. One of you killed Sakura. Wh what? Wh what? What? You're accusing us because we've been, uh, we've even begun, before we even began the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything, because you hated her, you hated the sight of her. One of you did it, I know it. You know it? Jeez, well, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much by getting mad. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. And don't get so mad, Ass Miss Asahina. You're gonna ruin the lewd little face of yours. Hmm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. Huh? huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Huh? Huh? Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you fought her... Again, and then... In other words. And I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite, actually. Not even close. <laughs> the whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura, come to a, uh, came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank god for that, it saved me the trouble of having to go through that little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been so mean of you, uh, mean feet to take down a be a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I gotta tell ya, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. Well, uh, I don't know who it was, but whoever the black and is this time, I owe ya one. You owe them one. <laughs> Oopsie, before you get all pissy totty at me, you better be able to figure out who did it first. Cause I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> what, is this? what the hell? He owes them one. I, I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I for one, I'm glad with it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. How, how can you say that now? Sorry, don't know. Don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway. Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let's decide who will stand yard this time. I'll do it. See ya? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay then. You know, uh, is your gu is guard number one, but we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me. Hm. You're always a thorn to my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An uh, order. That's fine. Fine. Stay behind you. Hm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. For that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is, Hiro, Biaki, Toko. None of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? What? One of you killed Sakura. I won't forgive you. I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. You have to every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who's killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Pierce further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear. I won't ask you to let us all in. Just let me. What? You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyways. Yep. Nope, don't really care. Uh -huh. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. Hmm. And you, Hero? You object? Uh, 
Uh, if if you're gonna go that far, what what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear. And it's decided. What you Nothing. It's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to this request. But but hey. you have to find out who killed Sakura Correct. for those of us still alive, and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Bianca, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who'd want to touch such a filthy body? Listen. It's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer, all of us face execution. I know who killed Sakura. It's no ma not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. If we have no choice but to just do it. And here we go. Investigation starts. I'd better check the Monaco file before anything else. Victim was Hakuro Gami. Time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. Body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There's evidence that a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Violent vomiting of blood? Hey. I think the, uh, the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. The door had been jammed shut with the chair from the inside of the rec room, which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after burying the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside, there's no way in or out till he broke the window. Then there's like zero escape, right? In other words, in other words it's a classic locked room murder. L locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? And right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. First type is the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. Simply means that the killer commits his crime then through special methods seals the door. It mainly involves some kind of trick involving the locking of the door. Basic approaches include using a string or a simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. Second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words, Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from the outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a hang and you shoot an arrow through a gap of the door or something like that. However, but in the, this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school and the door ha doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off to the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words, they stay hidden when the door is open, they use a the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else and that's that. Sounds like it could have been possible, maybe? It's true. The fourth final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room. In other words, By that I mean there's actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see this in a lot of novels and things, but in reality it's generally not possible. Then, you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. False possibility in Kyoko, which of those four choices seem to be most likely in this case? It's true. Good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. Right now, I can't really say. Let's see, the way killer set up the locked room. If I figure it out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. But it's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can for Sakura, if nothing else. Okay, so well, uh, a lot to do. Let's, I guess, check out what we did first off. What? What is that? Flash container rolling around near the entrance room. Looks like a protein drink and it's empty. What's a drink it? Everyone knows how much he loved her protein. She mentioned more than one how protein was good for all this sort of ailments. Wrong. I would take that to heart if I wouldn't take that to heart if I weren't you. If I were you. I know. So the protein can. The label on it called Chem A2. Mind me, Sakura mentioned how the chem lab has all kinds of health stuff. Must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. But that's strange. What is this? Hey. You see how it's scattered around the can? I would scatter around the can. Shut the light blue glass. It must have been part of the window I broke. Get inside. 
They aren't scattered around. They can. They're also underneath it. What does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're possibly going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Yeah, because if the drink was already down there, how would, the how would the glass go underneath it? That's very strange indeed. That's very strange. That's... Okay. The chair was moved, uh, shoved up against the doorknob, so we could get the door open. But other than that, any kind of string or spanking was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Okay, good to know. How about you, Biapia? What do you want? You're bothering me. Go away. No, you've been trying. I'm not even trying to hide how much you despise me. I'd better go uh, before you question my soul completely. And what are you going to talk about, Kyoko? Talk about have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type of going down, gone down without a fight. It's true. She definitely didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. How was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Okay. How are you? How are you faring? How, how are you faring, Yasuna? We already know who did it. <laughs> Byakuya took her hero. It had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You with me, right? Don't you, Makoto? Uh, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Let me help you find out more. Shisakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After we went to the nurse's office in the morning, Sakura and I both left together. Uh, of everything? Uh, eventually, she went off by her own. When I saw her again, after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. Monica said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But... She wouldn't listen. She said not to worry that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force, even, this would never have, an, uh, have happened. Asina. Impossible to have regrets, I know. The fact that she had asked those three to meet with her. She asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. It might be good to confirm what I just heard with three of them directly. I'll talk to Byakuya later. He's just doing his own thing right now. It's around 1 o'clock right now. According to the Monica, Monica and file, Sakura died around 12 noon. Roughly an hour ago. Is that when Kyoko and I were moving Ultra Ego? Damn. It might be. Okay, what's this down here? What is this? It looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Oh, that's... Do you recognize it? Well, well yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. It's a candy wrapper. That's who were upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So he gave this to Candy Sakura. I found a big box of it, uh, box of it in the warehouse. I didn't like him. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, it took an entire box back to I took an entire box back in my room. Made sure nobody else could get their hands on him. You don't like him that much. I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself, that's why I gave it to her. But now they've all lost their flavor. Man, they were like besties. And now she's dead. I can't believe she died. That's ugh. Sakura drew the last breath, sitting slumped forward in the chair. And that, that's a uh, picture with her when we first found her. She seemed like she was smiling too. There's obvious evidence the blow that had Sakura suffered. Her only would wouldn't have any problem believing that that's what killed her. According to the Monica file, she had also vomited blood. I see the trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what could have caused the vomit of blood? Monica file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. <sighs> Maybe her greeting hit her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. Not a chance. Yakia. Yeah. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Naturally. Most interesting? Don't you agree? Mm, I don't think I'd call it interesting. It does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Must have come from Sakurai, but that doesn't make sense. Why 
Why is it so far away from where she died? That's, yep, yeah, that's quite, now uh, why is it so far? What is this? Shards of glass shattered around, all around Chakra's, uh, the chair Sock was sitting on. Glass is all red and there's th there are, uh, the, uh, these are the top and bottom section of a bottle, right? So, must it have really been a bottle? There's something else on the ground near the glass. I figure it fits in the palm of my hand. A Monokuma figure. Okay. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each of the bottles, there's some kind of Monokuma figure. I'm wondering is how they get those figures inside the bottles. So... No different from your standard ship in this bottle. Huh? You know where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? Never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words, so this is Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. I feel like I finally started to make sense of things a little by little. Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. Monokuma figure we found on the ground. Red shards of glass should probably started out as a bottle. I mean, Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? Shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Lock, locker's open and there's... And there on the inside, a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? It looks like... Someone touched the inside of the locker and left a hatpin in all the dust. It's true. It looks quite fresh too. I'd say someone was hiding in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here? Until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, he popped out to join the rest of the group? Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not possible. Why not? Hey. Think back before you open the door. They looked inside the room, right? It was already open. The locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in uh, there until after we open the door. So then, what does this handprint mean? And whose handprint is it? Is that everything? I think that might be it. Magazines? Same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kind of magazines here. Mm -hmm. Alright, now Togami. What do you want? You're bothering me. Uh, there's something I'd like to talk to you about? Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> Found out. Interesting. That's it's true. Hmm. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would say, uh, do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? Go see her? Hmm. Of course not. I wrote the note shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Since uh, Byoko says he didn't go see her, is that the truth? So I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept the this fact. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sights. Okay, thanks. Uh, Kyoko, how's it going? You gonna tell me the same thing? Hey. A strong in body, mind, spirit. How the killer able to get upper hand on her? Something good. Certainly. Well, let's leave. Door's the only way out in, the, out, in or out of the rec room. Door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence the moi of the, that the mountings have been tampered with. Only well, able to change the door is smashed the window. It's what happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. No evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used to the door. In other words, uh, don't see any suspicion about the door itself. Having examined both the door and the chair, no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. They kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. There's no evidence the door or chair being tapped with or anything like that. The killer must have created the locked room from the inside, not from the outside. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then. You should probably go talk with the people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you, uh, you'll go in my place. She's decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue but she's right i do have to go talk to the others sakura wanted to meet with the other two uh the two other people did you hear what they have to say 
Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk to her then. Hey. Uh, yeah. Let's leave. Can we go, please? Do we have to talk to Tsukami again? Don't make me repeat myself. Yes, I did receive a note. Blah, 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 blah. It's not going to be at all. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Fine. Can you do this? Thank you. The other two probably went back to the rooms. Alright, well, bring me there. First one to talk to is Toko, right? Press the doorbell, ding dong. After a few seconds. Mm. Who's there? Oh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. Nor the total decay. What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <sighs> Obviously, now I talk with Slither out of the, the hall. What do you want? Talk to me about something. I'll talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. What? Well. I don't know what you're ta talking about. Fiyaki already told me she had asked me to meet with him. Or asked her to meet with him. She wanted to meet with Master too? I just had two, didn't I? I guess it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much, so can you tell me about it? I admit I did get the notes, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Maybe she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? To like prove otherwise, I have no choice to keep the fat. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. Togo quickly retreated into her room. Okay. And uh, last but not least, that's your hero, Hagu Furei. That's the door. Ding dong. Few seconds. You know? What's up, Makoto? You need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? What? <laughs> how do you know about that? Could it be? <laughs> Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you, have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But, but, I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she won't ask Byaku and Toga to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Oh well. Uh, um... She asked me to meet with her, of course, but. Didn't she write you a note? Ugh, uh, yeah, a note. She, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, it's super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura? You got it all wrong. No way, I totally didn't. I would, why would I ever do that? Definitely suspicious. Uh, last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got her and I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, uh, can you show me that note she gave you? Uh, um, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Get around in his pockets. Hey, come on. Sorry, looks like I don't have it anymore. Big goofy smile on his face. He pulled his hands back uh, out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of his pockets. Huh? 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 What? Okay, the wind here snatched it back up again. To the back of his pocket. Hey, come on. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, made a trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? What, what, what? Anyway, can't deny that Ogre asked me to, uh, asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. Waiting for a reply here, he quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that it was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. So I heard from Toko, Hiro, and uh, what? Nice. Then we had to look at the actual crime scene again. Well, on top of that, 
Maybe we should find out about the protein can we found on the floor in the rec room. I'm sure we can find something in the chem lab. Where should I start? Well, let's go to the chem lab. I don't think we really have anything else to look at in the crime scene itself. So the chem lab would probably be the next step here. Right? Uh... The physics lab. Where is the chem lab? Alright. Where oh this? Here we go. So what's in here? Oh hey Tonami. Makoto, did you have an eye on the chem lab too? Mm, just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, Yes, sir, I understand. Fucking dick. Well, there's definitely a thing right there. What is happening over here? This isn't my first time seeing the shell, but I just can't get over how big it is. Probably take a closer look at it, like what is on the ground there. Looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. More important right now, what the powder is built in front of the shelf. Be careful not to step in it. Broken bottom in front of her, uh, the shelf is this where all the powder came from. Chem C4. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at this point the room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words, That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. Really want it to happen? It must be related to the case somehow. Wow, there's a lot to look at. Well, let's go with C first. The shelf is. Looks like I could tell it's nothing but Danish chemicals. Looks like poison and other powerful chemicals. All candid containers are shabled with, uh, shabled, labeled with the letter C and the number. You can consider the part of the section unit C. Okay, B. On the other shelf is looks like a bunch of chemicals. I have no idea where they are. Hmm. They their we had their regions. Put simply, they used in experiments to bring out a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be a bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? what you think studying science and mathematics is no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The world of or oh, the words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter right now. I need to focus on the shelf. The containers of the shelf are labeled with letter B and number. I guess I can consider the part of the shelving in unit section B. I don't see it anywhere out in the ordinary. In which case, I don't think I have to worry about the shelf. What's on the shelf? Uh, dietary supplements? Different medicines? Protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. Containers of the shelf are labeled with letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelf in unit section A, but wait. There's one bottle here labeled Chem C9. Did something have did someone put this in here on accident? I'll try and find out more about the shelving unit. Looks like it's split into three sections, section A dietary supplements, section B has a reagent reagents, um and re reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals, Sagra must have on the power to power from section A. What concerned me is that section A there was a bottle with a label of sa from section C. What was the bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? Definitely something going on here. Uh -huh, this? This now? The powder itself. A bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. Better not leave a blue footprint. And then the footprints. Footprints. And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? You may just sketch out a full floor pan, but we. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you are to offer? So, in several smirk, he added me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go, chop chop. Okay, got to work, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. So, how's this? Not bad for you. For me. So when will you look at it like this? Uh, 
So when you look at it like this, it's uh, interesting. It appeared that whoever left these footprints only had business on the leftmost shelf. Came in and went straight to the shelf, did whatever they do they had to do, then left. Then what's the footprint tell that's what the footprint is telling me. I see. Footprint must be it's certainly possible. So are they yours? No. What? Okay, then let's see your shoes. I'll confirm that they're size for myself. You know, reason not to do, so I quietly did what Biakuya said. Hmm. See, your feet appear to be too big. Fortunately, I must admit, there these are not your footprints. Unfortunately, hmm. with how clear these prints are, it should belong to quite. It should be quite easy to determine how who they do belong to. Prints are a clearly valuable clue. Good harsh to look at the powder. Much yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There remains a broken bottle. Looks like a bottle labeled Chem C4. Also, looks like someone left the footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was, left on the left side of the shelf. Um, according to Bakia, the powder would have had been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all you can tell for now. Yeah. You're taking a look at the chem lab. Maybe we should take a um, should take around another look around the rec room. Okay. See you later, Tokami. See you later, Bakia. Dick. Yes, let's go here, please. Can we teleport? Why can't we teleport? Alright, I guess we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's walk. Unless we have to talk with someone. Nope. Alright, see you later, Togami. Uh... Where is... oh, this way? Mesa didn't really matter. Oh, it matters. We gotta go this way. Nope. This way. Nope. <laughs> Let's look at the fucking... Look at the... Map. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The rock room should be... Going the wrong way. God damn it. The rec room should be like right around. No, wait, this is the right. <laughs> Fuck. It's, uh. I guess it is this way. Is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's right around the corner here. Here we go. Hello. How's it going? Hey. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? Could go to Tokyo, what hero, uh, token hero told me. I see. So along with Byaku, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. It's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone lying? Uh, it's Hukakure. Anyway. I made some progress on my own. Sakura's body and the shelf of magazine and the Monokuma bottles. These things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. Koko, there's still something to discover of Sakura's Just body. Starting, uh, staring off in the space isn't going to help you figure anything out. I know, I guess, but hey. don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? <sighs> yeah, there's no getting around it. Like me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. And that's the kind of thing it grown pers er, kept grown perversely in, uh, used to. Although there's still sometimes... Uh, I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. And how can you? So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunity to touch the dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. Well, I'm probably look here. Her shoes. Correct. I see the yellow powder on her uh, on her instep. It really stands out. I see. The powder is a clue number one. How do we not see that? Hey. Next one, the wound on the back. Look it's carefully. True. Actually, even telling you that is incredibly difficult to spot. Let me just explain. It would seem... I that she didn't suffer from a single blow. Instead, received two bottles to the head. Two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? There's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands are spotless. Absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So, that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. 
damn, we were only gone like for like a few minutes. <laughs> Can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Then magazine rack, right? The magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Clue clue. <laughs> Magazine's upside down. Someone put this in the back uh, in the back in the way on accident? Hey. Is something catches if something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Ah, you're right. The, the invert magazine flipped through it. This is one of the pages near the center of the magazine. Or it'd have been written blood bloody letters and it said Toko. Can this read a dying message? Nope. Her we just thought we went over this. We went over this naive. Her hands are clean. Correct. Here you found it. Yeah, who's this? So... Need a dying message. Someone use the right, uh, right, uh, finger right. It. Yep. Dying message. However... Speak clear. It's not one who put it back upside down. It was already like this when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of the others who might come looking. Um... Hey, hey, is that? It says Toka, right? Yeah, it looks like it. And she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. <laughs> it's settled. She's the killer, sure. It can conclusive evidence, right? We we can use it to the corner of the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me think it's um, uh, think that uh makes me that much more suspicious. I can't read. Dying message. Her her palms are clean though. I think Kyoko said she found a new clue involving the monocoon bottles. There's two missing. Depending on those bases, yep, there are two missing. You figure it out? Hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay carefully, pay, pay careful attention to it and you're sure to find it. Correlation, um... Okay, okay, can you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you clues, but giving you a conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have, can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree, otherwise I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Do you agree? What? Monaco bottles. Hey. Actually, there's one thing about the Monaco bottles that bothering me. I'd like to experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Experiment. Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monaco bottles and try to get the smaller pieces too? Are you sure it's okay to mess with a crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byaki is not here, so... So then... I need to get something from the chem lab while I'm gone. Try and gather up all the glass. Kyoko left the room. Really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I better just do it. So the room just kind of got to work like all the broken p bottle pieces. Just that I finished up. Sorry to keep you waiting. So Is everything ready? Well, let's get to work. What kind of experiment are we doing? In other words, I got uh, I got a scale from the chem lab. I'm gonna use it to compare the weights. Compare the weights of what? Hmm. The piece of the glass you collected and the one uh, and one of the Monaco bottles that's still intact. What do you want to do with that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sure it'll make sense when we're done. They're gonna compare the weights to see if. Listen. One bottle is the same weight as the broken bottle. Let's compare the weight to normal. All right, they're even, balanced. I mean, each monocle of bottle weighs about the same, which makes sense. Monocle figures inside are basically the same. Nothing else can really affect the weight. So now here's the comes the important part. Well, the scales you picked up on one side of the scale, or picked up all the pieces up on one side of the scale, and now what might we expect to see? A normal assumption would be, you know, balance out of the pieces I collect will be lighter. I'd best to collect them all, but the ch there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? That's impossible. Two broken I models. Know. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it to all together. Hey. I believe you'll arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. What do you think? It's all on you. And just like that, we're done. <sighs> Whoops! You caught me sleeping here in 50.
investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. <sighs> okay, well, it's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever hap well, happens will have to happen in the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. And with that, class, the investigation is over. I think that'll be it for now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.